So, Italy versus France. First edition versus the latest edition. But how do they fare? Well, if you want to find out, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Century Legio X is on sale and links are in the description. Hello, my name's Scott and this is The Centurion. And I thought I would go all Italian today. Um, Dolce & Gabbana Paul Hom. Now, it used to be a huge favorite of mine. Uh, right back in the day, it was released in 1994 and it was shortly after that that I actually bought it for the first time. And it was one of my, if not the favorite of my collection back then. Um, and then it had different formula reformulations. It changed hands from being made in Italy, which is the one that everyone is after, the, the sought after one. Went from there to being made to, in Germany, from there, then being made in the UK, and then there is the new version, or newish version, which I believe was 2017, is being made in France. Um, I have for you the original version and the latest version made in France. So Italy versus France. Now, um, I absolutely adored this fragrance, as I said, and um, I remember going back quite a few years ago, I popped into Boots. This is previous to my YouTube shenanigans and what have you. Um, and I sprayed it. And I was like, what is this? This isn't what I remember. This is terrible. And it was just like a citrus, lemony, really cheap lemony stench, basically. And it didn't last either, which was fortunate, I suppose, in one way. But it, it didn't resemble what I remembered, that lavender and tobacco fragrance of before. Um, nothing like it at all. Um, and I'd sprayed a strip, I'd sprayed loads on my arm, I went home, the strip still smelled the next morning, as you'd expect, but it was still that lemony mess. And on my skin, a few hours later, it had gone. It was, it was like, that is not what I remember dodging about a poor Hom beer. Um, so I went back several times and I tried it just in case it was an off day, my skin wasn't playing ball, I don't know. And it was the same result. So I forgot about it. And then over time, as I started to do my YouTube um, videos and reviews, I then became more and more interested in the history and what actually went wrong with it and um, found out about the different iterations of it. And this was the UK version, obviously, and everyone, if you read online, everyone slates the UK version, and for good reason as well. So, today I have for you a Made in Italy version and the modern one. This is the Made in Italy version. As you will know, it has the label on. Um, it was like that for quite a few years. Um, I was lucky enough to be speaking to a very good friend of mine. Um, by the name of Rich Mitch and uh, he said oh I've got a bottle that you you could buy so I said well yes please I've been after this forever it's so hard to get hold of the problem that you have as well is that it is it's there's a lot of fakes out there and I don't mean dupes or anything like that I mean actual fakes so what you'd be paying probably a hundred and whatever pounds for a bottle of this will actually be worse than that UK version. It'll be awful. It won't be worth won't be worth the label that they've stuck on it. So you have to be careful who you're buying off of. You have to know them. Um, so this is why I thought, well, I'll wait and wait and wait. Surely one will come, and I waited. But luckily. As I said, managed to get a bottle. So I have already sprayed, but I'm going to spray again. That on the left, actually, yeah. And 
I'm gonna spray the new one as well. I bought this two days later after buying that one. Reason being is because I read a lot about the new version and they're saying that that is the nearest you will get to the original. And I thought, well, that would be a good idea really because the old version is so sought after, it's precious, it's precious to me. I have a lot of scent memories with this. Um, I probably love it more than what your average person would because of that. Um, but I don't wanna be whacking through this, even though that's a 125 ml bottle, I don't, I don't want to because it's precious. Um, so I thought if this is similar, so what it means is that I can wear more of that and save that. And then if I do ever sell it in the future, someone's gonna get nearly a full bottle, aren't they? But yeah, so let's just spray again on this. Now, what I will say, I'll go through the new notes first. Um, on the original, now this is another thing as well. Um, on Fragrantica, um, you got the full breakdown on the original. On the new one, I say the new one, not the made in France. They're dating it back to 2012, which I think is the UK version. There was not many notes. So you'll see the difference in a second. But the original has got top notes of lavender, lemon, bergamot, clary sage, tarragon, neroli, mandarin orange, and orange. And then in the mid, there's pepper, cinnamon, coriander, geranium, violet, jasmine, and rose. And then in the base, there is tobacco, tonka bean, sandalwood, musk, amber, cormoran, cedar, and iris. See what I mean? a huge note breakdown. On the new one, we have in the top, citruses, bergamot, neroli, mandarin orange. In the mids, lavender, sage, pepper. In the base, tobacco, tonka, and cedar. So whether there is just a, a cut down of the notes that they're, they're, you, they, they're not listing all of the notes, or what I do not know, but, um, I'll tell you the difference between the two. Now, by all, by no means is this a slouch as in comparison. Um, I agree with a lot of people out there what they've said, whereas it is quite close. Side by side on skin is the biggest difference. Now, side by side, you are going to get that the new one is a lot more citrusy, whereas the old one. Now, whether that is because maybe it's lost some of its top notes, but I don't remember it being like that anyway. Um, the old one goes into a more of a creamy lavender and a, a peppery type of opening. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, not saying that that isn't, but on skin, it's very lemony still um, or citrusy. Now, I, I sprayed it several times and I was like, how can we make this better? How is that going to be better? How can I make that more like that? So what I've done is I sprayed it on cloves and straight away on cloves. It's very, very similar to that. So if you spray skin and cloves, you're going to get a very close resemblance to the original which I am like over the moon about because I can use the heck out of that. Now, at the moment on Amazon, 125 ml bottle is costing you £39.60. It was when I bought it just a few days ago, which is a Kraken price, isn't it? But you can get it between 40 and 60 pounds. This one, right in the dry down, has got more cedar. This is more I wouldn't say warm, but there's a taba the tobacco in there. And like I said, this is the herbaceousness is a lot more stronger in this than what it is in that. Even though they're fairly close, you do notice the difference side by side. If I wore that on its own, on clothes and on skin, I think not a lot of people would be able to tell a great deal of difference. You'd have to know what the old one smells like properly. So it's a very good fragrance. So I'm gonna say that. What I'm also gonna say is because that is very hard to come by, it's probably the best bet for you. You're gonna to have to be a, a die-hard lover 
of the original to want to firstly pay the money that's being asked of it and to wait until a decent bottle comes up um, but all good things come to those who wait so if you are interested then yeah it's well worth it well worth it um, really is I'm really so pleased that I've got the boat both of them um, I couldn't be happier so in the original like I said there is that pepperiness which isn't so visible in in this one um, and I think that is what makes it the biggest difference that with the lavender and the creaminess of it is the biggest difference but you do get that creaminess in here if you pull away from it and let it come to you on close that is that's the best way to smell it because it's so close um, I don't know what else to say other than so pleased I got that if you get a chance to get a bottle for a good price, get it. Because it's never ever gonna go down in money. Um, it's always gonna be worth the money that you pay for it. Um, but if you just wanna smell a bit like that one, or quite a lot like that one, get the new one. But remember, spray it on clothes as well. So clothes and skin, and yeah, you'll be well away. Anyway, Dodge and Gambana, Paul Hom, the original, and the new one. Italy versus France. Um, in my eyes, the winner, always going to be the Italian one. But the French is pretty damn close. So if it was a football match, that would have won on, the original would have won on penalties. Anyway, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to press that notification bell. And um, please, please, please keep safe out there. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much.